When their service is complete, many veterans are finding a second career, believe it or not, in the tech industry. Big name companies are seeking out military experience that can give their businesses a boost. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan found out what sets veterans up for success. We came to Burns McDonald, a company here in Kansas City that has tech job openings right now. We wanted to see how veterans are filling those positions. Every day there's a new puzzle to solve. From the Navy to a cybersecurity job at Burns & McDonald, Jason Vig feels like he serves a greater purpose even outside the military's mission. The transition from supporting the mission to supporting the purpose it's a natural fit. There are nearly 5,000 tech job openings across Kansas City right now. Companies like Burns and McDonald and Garmin are relying on veterans to fill those positions. Veterans is a huge, huge resource for us. Jennifer Pizzullo works HR at Garmin. Flyers about recruiting military members cover her desk. They do have that can-do attitude and kind of that servant leadership that our founders have always, you know, described at Garmin. One thing Teresa Bench, a combat veteran and major with the Army Reserves appreciates about working at Garmin is the support system. American flags line the Olathe headquarters all week just for Veterans Day. We can still feel that camaraderie like we do out in the field when we're serving, um, but here within our, our own campus and our own uh, community. Garmin launched a program to help hire military spouses this year. Burns and McDonald is part of the national Hiring Our Heroes program, which gives vets an internship with the hope of hiring them at the end. Within the last couple of years, 100%, so it's been great. A group called the KC Tech Council has an apprenticeship program that helps people pivot their careers to fill these tech jobs, and you don't even have to be a veteran to participate. We'll tell you more about it during our 6 o'clock newscast. In Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.